How fast are you moving right now? You might be thinking, I'm not moving, I'm sitting here watching this video. And that's true if you're measuring your speed relative to, say, the chair you're sitting in. But what about relative to the rest of the universe? Speed can only be measured relatively. When we say a car is driving at 20 miles per hour, it's really only traveling at 20 miles per hour relative to an unmoving reference point on the Earth's surface. We don't take into account the fact that the ground is moving too, but of course, it is. As we know, it takes the Earth about 24 hours to complete a rotation. The circumference of the Earth is about 25,000 miles, so if you live at the equator, you're spinning at over 1,000 miles per hour. And we're just getting started. We also know that it takes the Earth roughly 365 days to orbit the Sun. The total trip is almost 600 million miles, which means the Earth is circling at over 66,000 miles per hour. And the Sun is also moving towards other stars in the galaxy and bringing us along at about 43,000 miles per hour. At the same time, it's moving upwards relative to the Milky Way plane at over 15,000 miles per hour. In addition to all that, the Sun orbits the center of the Milky Way once every 225 million years, moving at 483,000 miles per hour to make the trip. All things considered, we're moving at about 540,000 miles per hour as a solar system. And on top of all of that, the Milky Way is shooting through the universe. If we measure the galaxy's speed relative to cosmic background radiation from the Big Bang, we find it's traveling at an incredible 1.3 million miles an hour. So you're moving on Earth, the Earth is moving around the Sun, the Sun is moving around the galaxy, and the entire galaxy is moving around the universe at a combined speed of over 1.9 million miles an hour, or 530 miles every second. That means that in the time you've been watching this video, you've traveled over 60,000 miles through space.